right, thank you for tuning in. One of the uh, fringe benefits of doing a radio show, the kind of radio show Robin and I do, one of the fringe benefits is we get to know some very talented authors and, and other uh, professionals as well, musicians, actors, politicians, etc. But authors seems to be the, the bulk of, of our guests. And um, qu- quite often it, an author will be uh, a return visiting author. And our next guest is an example of that. Carl Brookins has been with us before. We love his books and we love his visits. In addition to being a talented author, he's also a freelance photographer. Uh, a public television program director. I seem to remember he had a boat or he rented a boat. There was a picture I remember from years ago that I asked oh, him about. Yeah. He's a cable TV administrator. Uh, he's a member of Mystery Writers of America, Sisters in Crime, and Private Eye Writers of America. And his new book, Why Didn't Anybody Think of This Title Before? The Case of the Stolen Case. It's a Sean Sean mystery novel. Good morning, Carl Brookins. Going, sir, how are you today? Good morning. I'm I'm fine. I enjoyed listening to Bob Lee a little while ago on your station. Oh my gosh! Uh, you, t- it's it's a good morning for us. We've got a couple of really good interviews today. So thank you, thank you for being on with us. Where are you right now? I'm in uh, St. Paul. Well, I'm in Roseville, Minnesota, which is a oh, suburb right. just north of St. Paul. That's right. And it's snowing fairly heavily. We're right uh-huh. on the edge. We're right on the edge of a of a serious snowstorm that's here and moving east. So when you thought of the title, did you giggle to yourself? The case of the stolen case? Did I giggle to myself? Actually, <laughs> n- <laughs> no. No. Um, I'm I'm very serious about my writing. So I, well, it's just no, a I fun. Probably did it's just a fun title. <laughs> a fun title. Well, it is. Yeah, it is. It's true, and um, it, it's not the title I started with. Um, but it but it works better than the orig- the original title. I usually start with a working title. And it almost never turns out to be the title of the book. Because oh, is that my, right? My uh, yeah, I belong to a, a twenty-five years. I've been I've been meeting with a group of people, our writers' critic critique group that uh-huh. we call Creme de la Crime. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I, love that. I like that. <laughs> and it's a, it's ten ten writers of of mystery fiction, and um, they are very critical. They are very hard on on. We are hard on each other. Well, that's good though, uh, right? Because it's, yeah. it's, oh, absolutely. It's constructive Ab- criticism, right? Absolutely, in a very nice way. We where it's very positive. The whole thing. there's no gotcha about it. It's it's an attempt to help each of us become better writers and produce better books. And it and works so far. It worked out pretty. Yeah, it yeah, does. I, I think so. So tell me, tell me the story. I, we don't have a whole lot of time for your interview today. Yeah, so give right. give us a what do you call a movie trailer thumbnail sketch of the story. <laughs> The, the elevator speech. Yeah. Well, um, my, uh, my this this is a book in which Sean John is faced with all of the things he doesn't like to do as a detective. He gets involved with some people who apparently are are traveling mafia. He gets involved with uh, with arsonists. He gets involved with people who are doing do, who are doing um, uh, 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 domestic uh, violence to mm. each other. Oh my God. All of these are things that he doesn't like to do as a detective. He has very strict rules about what kind of cases he takes. And this violates all of them. And he has to and, and he has to deal with, with fire, which he hates. So so the whole thing has to do largely he has to solve this murder, okay, but but the the case, the the book is really about how he copes with all of these things as a way to get at his whole his whole lifestyle, and when the bad guys come to town and um, and they then attack his girlfriend, uh, he goes off like a rocket and does a lot of things that mostly he wouldn't do as a cop. So it has a little bit more violence in some spots in it. You know, it's interesting. It's interesting how you tell us. Um, th- there's a couple of stories going on at the same time, but the two that I wanted True. to point out is the 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 I guess the main story you would call it the the crime solving part of it, but then there's also this narrative that helps us visualize who Sean Sean is, like what his character is. There's the there's that right. that part of your writing also is I find that just as fascinating. It's almost like you know the guy. You you know who he is, and you can kind of picture him like you know in the kitchen yeah. and, and doing. If he wa- exactly, yeah. if he walked, if he walked into your studio right now, I can see your studio right. If he walked into your <laughs> studio right now, uh-huh. uh, he would uh, you recognize him? 
You say, oh my God, that's that must be Sean Sean, that detective that this guy's been writing. I love what, that. You know, that's what I hope happens. I love how he is extremely uh, laid back and everything, and and you even have him smoking yeah. a cigarette on the cover. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that my my artist said. Well, he's, I know you don't smoke, and he doesn't smoke, but we, but you know that's a classic picture of a PI. And so we're going to use that on the cover. I said, mm-hmm. Okay, that works. That's that not works. who I picture, though. I don't picture that guy. When I read when I read your description, no, he doesn't look right. like that. No, Mm-mm. no, you're right. He doesn't. He doesn't at all. And we and we we debated that when we designed the cover, and we just I don't know. But it's kind of a it's kind of an old theme because you see, my books are are homages to two dead writers. The, the you know the the Earl Stanley Gardner the Perry Mason books all were the case of something or other. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That's that's part of it. That's why my books are deliberately titled the way they are. The other part of it is that that I was I was enamored of Richard Prather who wrote the Shell Scott series when I when I was a Randy kid growing up in St. Paul. And um, it, uh, Shell Scott is a is an ex- a former Marine. He's six six. He'll shoot anybody who looks the wrong way, and he'll go to bed with any woman who walks in the door of his office, which is totally. A, the opposite of my detective, you see, who's short, is loyal to his girlfriend, all this kind of stuff. Hmm, yeah, but I, I and it's interesting that a lot of times when I read from an author, if, if I know what the author looks like, and in your case, I, I sort of do. I've seen your photograph, but right. I but I don't picture you. A lot of times, I'll picture the right. author, yeah. like in the, you know what I mean, I'll, as the character. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, and in some of my books, uh, the other series, the, the sailing series. And the academic series, I you can then you I will do. see me very much. Absolutely, so, yeah. yes, absolutely true. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so great! Uh, I don't know how many times you've been on our show, but it feels like an old friend I calling think it's like in. The right. third time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I enjoy talking to you too. I have a, I have a secret for you. <laughs> what okay? is it? The 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 solution, not the solution, but the way in which the bad guys are trapped is due to something that I did many, many years ago as a television producer. I was, it was taught to me by a, by a science teacher in an elementary school. And? So that's the trick. Well, that's the trick. Oh, that's as far as you're going to let us know. Okay. <laughs> I just tried to hold up the book to but the But that's family. where it came from, and, and, it worked re- and it works really well. It's wonderful. It involves, it involves mousetraps and ping pong balls. And you have your own imprint. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. You have your own imprint of, of books now calling, uh, s- I do. Uh, saying uh, Brookins Books. So this is a, a re-release then. I do. I do. Well, it, it is. This is a. It's. Uh, this one is not a re-release. But oh, okay. Some of the others will be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's pretty, pretty exciting. Well, I'm having a good time with it, you know, and and I hope people people can buy it. It's available from the website, you know, which is my name. I don't I don't see any reason to use a pen name. I'm Carl Brookins, and it's carlbrookins.com. dot com. So you can find me on the internet. You can find me in my books at bookstores all over the country, and of course it's on the the online bookstores as well. So. All right, I just went to your website. There you are, carlbrookins.com. dot com. Um, I have a That's copy. Of, I have a copy of the That's book. Me. The case of the <laughs> stolen. The case of the stolen case. <laughs> Call me right now if you wanted. Uh, the last book was really a hot one. Everybody wanted that one. Call for this one. This is this is just as good. Uh, thank you for being on the air with us again, Carl. Um, and and the rest thank of us you have for to having me. So carlbrookins.com is the website. Do we do we go there to buy the book? Yes, right. You can. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay, you click on. Oh no, you don't click on the book. There's all the books we've talked about. There they are. Okay. I uh, love the uh, uh, photo that uh, your publicist sent us with all of you guys uh, out there by the barn, by the car, wearing uh, 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 prison garb and stuff. I just think that's a fun photo. That was fun, yeah. yeah. It was. Well, Carl, don't be a stranger. If you're ever in Florida, we'd love to have you in the studio. Thank you. I have I have relatives in Florida. We're probably planning to come down sometime, maybe this spring. And if we do well, we'll drop in. Oh, that'd be so. Oh, that'd be perfect. Know. Thank you, Carl. I really enjoy talking to you both, and thank you so much for having me on your air. It's really helpful. It's it's an honor. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> we will be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accidents. Wednesday will turn out mostly sunny and pleasantly warm with a high of 77 to 81.